Skin infections are a common presentation in primary care. They present as visible lesions and it is important for a clinician to identify the infective agent as it determines the treatment and management. Skin infections can be acute, chronic, benign or even life-threatening. The infections are caused by a wide variety of organisms, most commonly bacteria, fungi and viruses. The infections can arise from the skin surface where th there is a break such as abrasions, bites, superficial structures such as hair follicles or from hematogenous spread. Other skin lesions can be secondary infected. The most common types of bacterial skin infection seen in primary care are cellulitis, empatical, and folliculitis. Also frequently seen are carbuncles and furuncles. Cellulitis is an infection of the dermis and subcutaneous tissues. It is painful and erythematous. Clinically, the lesion is warm, edematous, with advancing borders and usually occurs near breaks in the skin such as a primary tumor infection, abrasions or cuts and wounds to the skin. It can occur on any part of the body but most commonly on the lower limbs and toes. Immunocompromised persons, diabetics and elderly are more prone to cellulitis. Usually group A streptococci are the causative agent. Empatigal is commonly seen in children. It is highly contagious but less frequently serious. The lesions are typically yellowish crusts on the face or limbs. It occurs where there are breaks in the skin due to any reasons such as scratching, atopic dermatitis, insect bites, diaper rashes or other infections such as varicella or herpes simplex. In adults, impetigo are usually secondary and occur in patients with inflammatory dermatosis such as psoriasis or cutaneous SRE, also skin infections including dermatophytes or tumor and on wounds or trauma to the skin. Staphylococcus aureus and again group A strep are the causative agents. Folliculitis is when the hair follicles become inflamed. It appears as spots, red spots and are often tender. There will usually be surface castilles which are superficial or can be deep, affecting any area of the body with hair follicles. It can be due to bacteria such as Pseudomonas, fungal infection from Tinea barbae or Fiserae affecting the beard or face, herpes simplex, or zoster and scabies. The furuncle is also infection of the hair follicle, but deeper and forms abscess to the subcutaneous tissue. It is commonly called a boil. A carbuncle is a covalence of several furuncles, which forms a single mass abscess which, with pus drainage from multiple follicles. Both furuncles and carbuncles are warm, tender and fluctuant, usually infected by staph aureus. Other bacteria causing skin infection is, that is important is Mycobacterium leprae, which cause leprosy. Systemic viral infections that present with skin lesions are exanthematous viral fevers such as varicella, measles or rubella, nausea and fever. In varicella or chickenpox, the rashes are vesicular and turn to scab. Other exanthemata are macropapilla and appears at various distribution and stages of the disease depending on the type of infection. Viral infections of the skin can be localized mostly are highly contagious through though direct contact of the lesion. What presents as proliferated skin or mucosa? It is caused by human papilloma virus, HPV. They are generally classified into non-genital warts and genital warts caused by multiple different strains of HPV. Non-genital warts are seen in both children and adults. They can occur on any part of the body but commonly on the palms and soles. The appearance varies from irregular rough papillos, small cauliflower-like lesions, flat and hyperkeratic or cystic nodules. Genital warts are sexually transmitted and is particularly important because strains of HPV causing the genital warts have risks of turning to cancers. HPV-16 and HPV-18 are especially high risk and causes more than 70% of cervical vagina 
and penile cancers. The pisimplex lesions or mucosal surfaces are vesicles that rapidly break down into painful shallow ulcers usually. On the skin, the vesicles present longer and becomes crusted ulcers, healing within a week. There are two types of herpes simplex viruses, HSV. HSV1, causing oral facial lesions coming in children, and HSV2 is usually associated with genital lesions in sexually active adults. However, HSV1 does occasionally cause genital lesions. Herpes zoster is a reactivation of the chickenpox virus. It is commonly known as shingles and presents as vesicles clustered in one dermatomal distribution. Often the lesion is painful and the sequelae of post-herpetic neuralgia can be debilitating. Immunocompromised patients are worse affected. Molluscum contagiosum is more commonly seen in children. It appears as painless, pearly white and lubricated papules. They are sometimes itchy. It is caused by a virus from the pox family. It is self-limiting but takes months to years to resolve. Fungal infections of the skin are common, especially in areas of the body that are moist. Certain occupations or lifestyles such as athletes and gardeners and morbidities like obesity and diabetes have a predisposition or higher susceptibility to fungal skin infections. Dermatophytic infections are prone to occur where the climate is warm and humid. They are named according to the affected side of the body. Tina capitis and tina barbe affect the scalp and beard area, respectively. They infect the hair shafts and follicles and present with inflamed patches. On the scalp, it is often with, associated with alopecia. Tina curis affect the groin as itchy patches that are well demarcated and can be inflamed. Tina pedis affect the foot, usually in the web spaces, which eventually becomes macerated. Tinea corporis affect the other part of body on the trunk and limbs apart from the digits. It presents as itchy annular lesions. Dermatophytes affecting the fingernails and toenails causes tinea ingrum or onychomycosis. The affected nails will initially be discolored, thickened and eventually may separate from the nail bed. Candidiasis can affect the skin or mucosa. In layman terms, it is called yeast infection or thrush. In infants, in infants, it can cause rashes on the cheeks or a milk rash. In the mouth or at the diaper area, candidiasis occur in adults who are mainly immunocompromised or have diabetes. The rash is usually dry, red, scaly and itchy. It can cause mucotaneous infection, folliculitis, perinopathy, perinicia or onychomycosis. Sporotrichosis or rose gardener's disease is a subcutaneous lesion or ulcerated nodule. It is a fungal infection acquired by those with contact to soil or vegetations such as moss, hay and rose bushes. The fungus causing the infection sporo sp sp sporotrichs. It is usually associated with minor cuts and abrasions occurring while handling soil, plants or from a cat scratch. So these are the common skin infections in primary care. Thank you.